show you! Hello and welcome to my Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim Collector's Edition unboxing. I got it today from Game Station as I pre-ordered it. This box is so, so big, it was an absolute nightmare trying to get it home on the bus. So, um, and finally, finally that it's, you know I mean, it's here, so let's get on with it, shall we? It's quite big, so I'll try my best to unbox it in, you know I mean, one go. It's not easy because it's so big. So, let's do it from this way. It's got the statue, it's got the art book, it's got, um, So I don't like it when they put tape on it because then you can't. There we go. That's the open. And that one. Now this part, the side parts, they slip off. So I managed to get the, the side parts off. But that's just the cardboard, cardboard part. So um, let's go and get on with um, having a look at the statue. This thing is so so huge. You should have seen the size of the game station bag, it was massive. So I don't know how I managed to actually carry this on the bus to be honest. Here we go. So from here. <sighs> Finally. Get to play Skyrim, I waited way too long. Right. Ah, this is the art book. Very, very nice. Hold on. I'll look at the art quickly. Very high quality leather. leather. Um, it shows you all, all the enemies in the game, characters, concept art. Very, very nice leather. This part here is um, inscribed in the book. It's not printed, it's actually coming out from the book, so that's really nice. Very nice leather. As well, it's got contents. It shows you the um, four world, world statues, creatures, um, races, clothing, armor, weapons, items, effects, key art, and credits. So these are I'm guessing these are all the people who made the game. So it shows you there. Um, yeah, it's just introduction. Very nice art, isn't it? Cool. Werewolves. So it's confirmed that there's werewolves in the game. So in Belithrin there was only um, vampires, so in this one there'll be werewolves as well. So that should be interesting. Um, I'm thinking that's an inn, I think. Uh, just there. That's like a cathedral or something, and there's people waiting on the tables. And that's dragon bones here, something of that, that is. Very nice drawings, you know. Very nicely designed. Hmm. Yeah, you got some of the dragons in the game that you meet. Now, I don't know if anyone's heard about the dragons, but I've heard that they come every hour or so while you're playing the game. And they're completely random, so uh, it's like I don't know how to describe it. Really, it's like you know, random battles in Final Fantasy where they're like every ten seconds. It's basically going to be that annoying, and you've got companions with you. So if a dragon attacks you, you're going to be in trouble because your companion can die. So that's really I don't know if that's going to get really, really annoying fast or not. So I'm just gonna have to wait and see when I play the game. <laughs> so um, I don't know what enemy that is. That's obviously, um, I don't know, it's like a, a ghost, a monster, something like that. Um, zombie. Hmm. Obnoxious creatures. That's obviously a werewolf, that's a ghost or something, I don't know. That's the wolves. Oh no, hold on, is that a wolf? I think it's a wolf. Sabertooth. Ah, oh, Sabertooth in the game. Interesting. New, new um, animals in the wilderness. I'm guessing that's a rat from the um, sewers. 
mud crabs, my favourite. Horses and the wolf. Alright, let's get on with the, um, the statue. We've already done five minutes, so you've seen some of the art book. So let's get on with the, um, the actual game itself. Hmm. It's cardboard. I thought it would be tin, but it's actually cardboard. So, um, hold on one second, let me open it. Right, so it's, it, it is cardboard. I'm going to help you open this up. It's a slip case. So, you, um, right. Oh, there we go. Almost there. There we go. Alright, so a bit disappointing about the, um, the game case. I would have thought I, I would have I was expecting a um, tin case, but it's cardboard and it's quite very, very um, thin. So um, I don't know how to describe how thin it is. It's like one of those um, cheap DVD boxes you get from from I don't know blockbusters or something. It's really, really thin, not great quality, and it, if you don't not be careful, not careful of it, it will break very, very easily. Which is a bit of a disappointment. This is a um, making of documentary, I would presume. So I'll probably watch that later. So that's obviously the game. This is the map itself. Hmm. Very nice quality. I like the feel of it. It feels like a, like a, like a real, you know, old map as well. I like the quality of it. It feels like, um, like you know when you, when you hold a £20 note. It feels like that. I can't open this. Right, hold on one second. The map of Skyrim. I don't know if I show it here. Yeah, you see, that's Morrowind. That's the first game in the series. And Cyrodiil is where Blithrin is located. And this is going to be the new location of where all your adventures are going to be in Skyrim. So this, this is a huge, huge map. I see the icons. I don't know exactly what they mean right now. You've got a horse icon. You've got a... Um, an antelope thing, you've got, oh, I think maybe the Fighters Guild or something, I don't know exactly what they are at the moment. But they're located on the map, I might actually go to these locations in the game and see what they're all about as well. See there's more there, so we don't exactly know what they are yet. So, um, it says Province of Skyrim. So, let's say there, 182 Nasli Draw, 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 some of the it pronounce it. Some old name. Come here, come here, boy. Right. Uh, so that's the map. Very nice quality. The map. Um, manual. It's in colour, in full colour. To show you instructions, you know how to play the game, game updates, and things like that. So yeah, it's very straightforward. Probably give it a read while it's game installed. Oh yeah, show you the details of, of the. Oh, it doesn't show it on this one. It's not the normal game case, so I can't really actually show you. It's not in the manual either, but so I can't show you. <laughs> not this time around. But I've heard it. The game installs around um, four gig. There's update as well, 58 MB as well. So that's something to look forward to, I guess. Game stores and updates, that's what it's like in gaming today, isn't it? So, um, right, you have to bear with me while I open up this. Right. So, this is the dragon statue box. Let's do this quickly because we don't have long on this video. Alright, side parts need to be cut open. So, let's do that. This will go on my kitchen counter with my um, Sonic Generation and Child of Free Explorer Edition. Um, so this is the instructions telling you how to install it. So obviously you'd lift this up. Like so the good thing is is it the, the stylophone protects it very well because when I was on the bus a lot of people actually bumped into me so it doesn't so hopefully it protects it well. So um I think I can just lift it up. No, I can't lift it up, hold on. It's, uh, it's very, very big. But it looks very detailed though. Um, let's 
the stand. I think this reminds me of um, you know those game workshops places you get in the high street where they have all these dragon statues and, and wizards and things like that. So it reminds me of that. Hmm. I thought it'd be made out of like um, clay or something, but it's actually made out of plastic, which is a bit disappointing. This is the mountain that the dragon stands on. I don't know if you'll be able to assemble it right now, but I will try. It's not going to be easy doing it with one hand and all. Alright, that's very nice. Oh, a bit prickly. <laughs> um, yeah, so it goes onto the thing like that. I wouldn't know how to do it. I have to have to do it with both hands because it's oh I think it goes with something like that. Yeah, there you go. Something like that. So that the dragon holds onto the, the mounting parts and it's mounted like that. I'll show you close up detail of the eyes. See the eyes are actually made of some crystal clock kind of thing. And both eyes there. It's a bit scary. I don't think you want to see that when when you wake up in the morning. You know what I mean? So um, that's the wings. I don't know if these creatures will be annoying in Skyrim or not. So we'll have to wait and see. So yeah. So in the collector's edition, you get obviously the the, the, um, the dragon. You get the game with a very obscure um, cardboard case, which unfortunately is not tin. You get a lovely map which feels like a crisp £20 note, is the only way to describe it. And you get a lovely leather-bound art book as well. So tell me in the comments if you think all of this is worth £129. Because that's how much it cost when I pre-ordered it and stuff. So that's my unboxing of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to um, Scarborough Sword from Zelda, which will be coming in approximately seven days from now. I'll be unboxing that and testing out the new Wiimote, Wiimote Plus. Um, so look out for that. And thank you everyone for watching. And leave comments and so on. See you later, guys.